If your computer is so hot that you can cook your dinner on it, try chilling it out with these quick solutions. This is DIY in five. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in five, the video series where we aim to make you a DIY tech expert in short videos that are five minutes or less. Today, we are talking about overheating PCs, which is terrifying because a hot computer can mean crashes and overall reduction in the lifespan of your storage and CPU. But never fear, we've got some simple tricks you can use to cool things down even in those hot summer months. So let's jump in. If your PC is hot to the touch, your fans sound like a jet engine, and or you're experiencing random shutdowns, VSODs, or screen freezes, these can all be signs of an overheating PC. Overheating can be caused by a bunch of different factors, many of which are related. Things like doing too much at once. I see you with your 45 tabs open while you're gaming with Photoshop open in the background. The harder your CPU is working, the hotter it gets. So the first recommended fix, seek out your resource intensive programs that may be running in the background and shut down what you don't need. Control Shift Escape will bring up your Windows Task Manager, where you can see what's using more CPU and memory. Highlight what you aren't using and click End Task to free up some resources. Try to use only one resource intensive app at a time and minimize browser tabs, especially when gaming. Also, the more you have open, the more likely you are to encounter application errors and your PC will allocate resources trying to fix the issue. If no issue can be found, your PC may be suffering ongoing high intensity performance issues as a result of trying to fix it. If you have a tricky application, an uninstall and reinstall may help to minimize these errors in the future. While we're in Windows, before we actually get inside the PC, you may be able to adjust your system settings for better performance as well. Specific computer models have settings listed for best performance and a quick tweak could be all it needs. Next, let's get inside our PC and check our fans. If your system's fans are loud or making clicking noises, they may need to be cleaned or even replaced. First, attempt to dust them off just in case dust or debris has slowed their spin or clogged up the insides. If that doesn't work, fans are very affordable to replace. I think my last PC fan replacement cost $12. Totally worth it. Another solution to an overheating PC is to remove any obstacles from around it, AKA don't put your printer on top of your tower. And clean the darn thing, not just your fans, but the entire system. And it's recommended to do so at least twice per year. If you need a step-by-step -step guide on how to clean your PC, we have one right here on this channel, linked in the description. Once you feel comfortable being inside your PC, another solution is to reapply your thermal paste. This is the heat conductive material that connects your CPU or GPU to the metal heat sinks of their coolers so they can dissipate heat. Your thermal paste can dry out over time. To do this, you need to remove your cooler and really get in there. So if that's not something you're comfortable with, you can always hire a technician to do this for you. One of the simplest temporary fixes for an overheating PC is to make the surrounding air cooler by way of an air conditioner or a cooling pad that blows cool air for laptops, that or turn the PC off altogether and let it rest. A little rest is good for all of us from time to time. Speaking of which, I'm going to take a break now and I will see you next time with more DIY in five. 